Greetings everyone. Welcome to the AOS 6 10.12 update series. I am Shobna, Technical Marketing Engineer, Aruba Campus Switching. So in this video, we will see about enhancement in show port access client show command. It is a usability improvement in 10.12. Let's quickly jump into the video. So here is the agenda for today's session. We will be covering the overview, enhancement in the following show commands, show port access clients, show port access client detail, show port access rule, show AAA authentication port access client status, show port access policy and new show command introduced for this feature. Overview. Let's see about the overview of this feature. So this feature is an usability improvement in show port access client show command. So why this feature has been introduced? So there has been several requests from field for a single show command that summarizes the client IP, client MAC, client VLAN, user role and username. So that was the reason this enhancement came in 10.12 update. Apart from the improvement in show port access client show command, there has been a request for a single show command for dynamic segmentation features like UBT and VNBT. Previously, we were using multiple show commands to view the details of this dynamic segmentation clients. So going forward, we can have a single brief show command for that features. So next is enhancement in ACL names. This enhancement is about ACL name display. So previously, the ACL names will be displayed as radius, hyphen, and then the random number generated. So this is not customer friendly because customer will not be able to identify the actual ACL name update. For that reason, this enhancement will bring in the actual ACL name display. So next is, this feature is supported in all port access security enabled platforms. First, let's see about show port access client show command. So prior to 10.12, so this is the show port access client show command output. So it will display the client port, MAC address, onboarding method, status and then road and then device type. So here is enhancement in 10.12. This will be the new enhanced show port access client show command. So it will have additional columns like client name, IPv4 address, VLAN and then flags. So let's see more details about them in the next slide. Next is the columns added and deleted. So here is an show command. The first column introduced here is the client name column. So it will display the MAC address of the end client in case of MAC authentication, port security and device profile. So for .1x clients, it will display the actual .1x username. So previously we were not able to identify the actual username for the .next clients. We were able to see only the MAC address. But here the show command has been enhanced to display the .next username. The next column added is the IPv4 address column. So this is one of the major usability enhancement in this show command. So we can easily know the mapping of IPv4 address of the end client. So how this can be achieved? So we need to enable the DHCP snooping or the client IP tracker for the functionality to happen. Based on the features, it will able to grip the IP address of the end client. So both static and DHCP IP of the end clients will be displayed here. So currently the IPv6 address is not supported. It is in future roadmap. The next column added is the VLAN column. So it will indicate the VLAN assignment for the end clients. So it can denote it using U for untagged VLAN and T for tagged VLAN. In case of multiple VLAN assignment, it will display as multi. So next is the deleted columns. So which are the columns that has been deleted from this show command. So it was the device type column and then the MAC address column. So device type column has been moved as a flag and MAC address column has been moved as a client name column. So let's see about the columns modified. The first column modified is the user role column. So the user role column will display the LUR, special rules and overridden rules. 
in case of rows derived from pushing the vsc from radius they will be previously displayed as radius underscore the random number generator but this is not customer friendly so for that reason such rules will be displayed as empty because they do not carry any rule name next is the overridden rule so previously the overridden rule will be displayed same as radius underscore overridden and then the random number generator so the users are not able to identify the actual base rule name for that purpose we will display as the base rule name suffixed with the asterisk in case of dur there is no change it will be displaying the dur name the next column modified is the flags column so previously the flags column will be displayed here now there is a new addition as a flags column itself so it will display the following flags the first comes the onboarding method so how the client has onboarded is it via mac or dot on x port security or device profile or is it in progress state so those flags will be displayed in the onboarding method flag first next is the auth mode so what is the auth mode for the end client whether it is a client mode device mode or multi domain mode next is the device type flag whether it is a data device or is it a voice device and finally comes the status flag it will indicate the client onboarded status like whether it is success failed or is it in in progress state now let's see what is the enhancement in show port taxes clients detail show command so prior to 1012 the show port taxes client detail show command will be displayed like this so it will display the client status along with the role assignment but this show command will go for multiple pages in case of more clients because the show command displays the role parameters entirely not even skipping the role parameters which are not applied for the end clients so to overcome this problem 1012 onwards this will be the enhanced show command output so what we will try to enhance here is after the client status we will display the role information with only the parameters actually present in the role so we will try to avoid the other role parameters that are not associated with any value here so by doing this change we are making sure the show command length is reduced and it accurately displays only the really needed information so next is the example with the radius attributes so prior to 1012 the show port taxes client detail show command will display the radius attributes information as well as the role information and displaying all the role parameters apart from the assigned values so now for 1012 onwards so this display is reduced as it will display only the assigned values of the role it will not display the other additional role parameter which are unassigned next is enhancement in show port taxes role show command so prior to 1012 the show port taxes role show command will display the full role information it will display even the role parameters that are not assigned with any values so with 1012 onwards it will display only the role parameters assigned with value thereby we are reducing the length of the show port taxes role show command output so next is radius overridden rule as the name suggests it is a overridden rule it means we are trying to override the rule along with other parameters consider a local user rule employee existing in the switch with the policy and then the reauth period we will try to override this rule assignment in radius with other attributes so in this example i am using a vlan assignment so on top of this rule the user will be assigned with a vlan 10 so this is a radius overridden rule so prior to 1012 the radius overridden rule will be displayed as in the show port taxes rule show command so it will display the rule name and then the base rule name and all the role parameters so apart from the assigned role parameters all other role parameters also will be displayed here and there will be a asterisk so this will display which is the overridden part in that rule 
and then the policy also will be displayed here. So with 1012 onwards, the display has been changed. So in show vote access rule show command, so it will display the only the rule parameters that are assigned as part of this overridden rule and which are the parameters that are overridden will be prefixed with the asterisk. For example, here the access VLAN is the additional parameter and it will be prefixed with the asterisk. So in case of policy, so previously the policy was displayed as radius underscore and then the random number generated for the policy. So with 1012 onwards, we will try to display the actual policy name. So we will not use the radius underscore random number display format for the policy. Since it is from the base rule, this policy is driven. So we will try to suffix it with the asterisk symbol. So for the radius overridden rules, the base policy name is suffixed with the asterisk symbol. Let's hear about the enhancement and show AAA authentication port taxes interface or client status show command. So prior to 1012, the client status show command will display like this for the rules derived from the radius VSAs. So it will display as radius underscore and then the random number generated because these rules are only derived from the radius VSAs and they do not have an actual name. So with 1012 onwards, so this will be displayed as like this, like it will be displayed empty. Since that there is no role name, we will try to not display the role name field here. So this is for the only the roles derived from the radius VSAs. So in case of radius overridden role, so it will try to display only the base role name and it will be suffixed with the asterisk symbol. So next is the enhancement in show port access policy show command. So for that purpose, we will try to understand first radius assign ACL. So what is radius assign ACL? Where the ACL definition will exist in the switch and the end client will be applied the radius assign ACL. So using the radius IETF attribute filter ID. So we will try to call that attribute and then the value as the ACL configured in the switch for the end client. So prior to 1012, the show port taxes policy show command will display such ACLs only using the radius underscore random number generated for that ACL. So with 1012 onwards, we will introduce a new field called ACL name and then display the actual ACL name applied for the end client. So this will be user friendly because the user can easily identify the ACL name associated for the end client. So this ACL name field only will display for the radius filter ID attribute. So in case of NAS filter rule or for Aruba NAS filter rules, it will be displayed as NE because those attributes does not contain an ACL name. They are just only the ACE entries. So let's see the same show port access policy show command for the radius overridden rules. So consider a radius overridden rule as discussed earlier where the role assignment exists in the switch and that role is overridden with other attributes. So in the example, I am trying to use the same thing like I have created a LUR employee and associated a policy to the employee and then a reauth period in the switch. And then in the radius, I am trying to overridden role along with the VLAN assignment. So prior to 1012, the show port access policy show command will display the policy as radius underscore and then the random number generator. So with 1012 onwards, we have introduced a new field called base policy. So it will display the actual policy name here for the end client, so which is configured in the switch. So this field will display only the base policy name in show port taxes policy show command. For non-radius type policies or policies derived from radius attribute like filter ID and then NAS filter rule and Aruba NAS filter rule, the base policy name will be displayed as not applicable. So let's hear about the new show commands introduced. First, let's see how to view the client's IP. So prior to 1012, to view the client's IP, we will use the below multiple show commands. So first, we will use the show port access clients show command to identify in which port the client has been onboarded and then the MAC address of the end client. So after that, 
we will use the show DHCP V4 snooping binding to identify the DHCP IP assignment for the end client. So in case of V6, we will use the show DHCP V6 snooping binding. So that is for the DHCP client. In case of static client, we will use the client IP tracker feature and then we will use the show command show client IP to identify the IP address for the end client. So we need two show commands to know the actual IP address for the end client. But in case of 10 tool onwards, we have enhanced this with a single show command show port access client DHCP info. So even though the show command name is saying it is DHCP info, so this show command will work even for the static clients. So it has two options. We can check interface wise or client Mac wise. So this will be the display of this new show command. So it will display the port client name and then the IP address assigned for the end client and then the VLAN in which the IP address assignment has happened and then the least time remaining for the end client. So it will display both IPv4 and IPv6 address. In case of dual stack clients, it will display both the addresses here in this show command. So next is to view the VNBT details. So prior to 10.12, we will try to use the below multiple show commands. First, we will use the show port access client show command to identify the client and then in which port it got onboarded. Next, we will use the show port access rule to identify the VLAN in which the client has been onboarded. And then we will use the show interface VXLAN VTAP show command to identify the actual VNA mapping. So whether the VNA is operational or not. So with 10 tool onwards, we have new show command show port access client VXLAN. So this show command comes with interface and then the Mac option for additional filtering. So here is the display of this enhanced show command. So it will display the client port, client name, the IP address associated for the end client, user role, the VLAN assignment for the end client, as well as the VNA mapping. So we can easily identify the VLAN to VNA mapping using this show port access client VXLAN single show command itself. So next is to view the UBT details. So even here we will use multiple show commands to identify the client's UBT details. So the first is show port access client show command to identify the port in which the client has onboarded the MAC address and then the role assignment. So next we will use the show port access role show command to identify the UBT details like gateway zone, secondary role and then the access VLAN information. So with 10.12 we have this new show command show port access clients UBT. So this will be an enhanced show command with options to identify the client details using the interface and then the Mac. So here is a display of this enhanced show command. So it will display the port, client name, IPv4 address associated for the end client, user role assignment, gateway role that is the secondary role, gateway zone and then the VLAN. So it will display both VLAN of the UBT 1.0 and then the UBT 2.0 modes and then the flag field. So with that, we have come to the end of this session. So thank you everyone for watching this video. If you have any further queries, do reach out to us in our ADEDS community. See you all. Bye.